This is Cadence Piece by Simulation tutorial series. In previous video, we have created a RC circuit using Cadence Piece by library components. If you skipped that previous tutorial, you can download the demo file using the link given in the description. In this video, we will learn how to add probe points, create new simulation profile and run the simulation for DC bias points for an RC circuit. So let's get started. In the very first step, we will open the project which we have created in the last tutorial. To do that, first we are going to run the Cadence ORCAD capture. Now select the available license. In my case, I am going to select ORCAD PSPY Designer Professional with PSPY and CIS and click over OK button. Once the ORCAD capture is ready, you can go to File, Open, go to Project. Select where you have downloaded the project file from the link given in the description. In my case, it is in Desktop. Select the rc.opj file and click over open button. Once the project is open, as you can see, you can go to schematic and double click over RC circuit. Now here I am going to just zoom in the specific region. Here we go. So we are going to simulate this RC circuit for DC bias analysis. In the next step, we are going to create new simulation profile. To do that, you have to click over this create new simulation profile button. Now here you have to add the new simulation name. In our case, it is DC bias. Now there is another option which is inherit from. So if you are wondering what is this inherit from option, using this you can use the simulation profile which we have already created for old projects. So in case you wanted to use the same configuration in this project, you can just browse your previous project file. But in our case, we are just going to create a new simulation profile from scratch. Then we'll click over create button. Now after creating the simulation profile, simulation setting window will open. Here you can see lot of options. So let's start with analysis type. If we'll go to analysis type, we'll see there are different sort of analysis that we can perform on our circuit design. Those different analysis has different parameters that we need to fill here. So we are going to discuss that one by one throughout this tutorial series. So first let's focus on time domain or transient analysis. Once you'll select the transient analysis, here you have to enter couple of options. So first option is run to time. So run to time is nothing, but here we can select the time axis maximum value. So let's say we are going to run our simulation for one millisecond, we'll enter one millisecond here. Next option is start saving data after. So this is the first point after which PSPY simulation will start saving the simulation results. Another is maximum step size. So as its name suggests, here you can limit the step size of transient simulation. So by default, if we leave this blank, then there will be no limit in the step size. So in some advanced simulation, we also use some functions in this option. For example, schedule function, etc. Now after that, we'll click over apply and OK. So once the simulation profile is successfully created, we are going to add couple of voltage probes on different circuit nodes. To do that, we have two options. Either we can add voltage probe from this toolbar option, or we can go to PSPICE, markers, and add voltage probes from here. So I'm just going to place those at output and input of this circuit. Now, once we have added the voltage probes, we are just going to run the simulation. To do that, we'll just click over this run piece by simulation analysis. So our simulation results is ready. Now, before seeing the simulation results, we can just predict what will be the simulation results. So as you can see at the input, there will be a 10 volt DC level. And at the output, it will be a 5 volt DC because we have these 1K registers. And after this register divider, the voltage will be 5 volt here. All right, so now let's see the waveform. So as you can see, at the output we have 5 volt and at the input we have 10 volt. Now we are just going to close this simulation. Now in the next step, we are going to save the project. To do that, go to file and click over save button. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll do DC sweep analysis using PSPICE. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.